If you've been with McFarlane since the beginning, you know that there was a wave of animated figures, which included Batman, Green Lantern, and Superman for the DC Multiverse. Don't get it confused with the DC Direct, which they do uh, animated figures, but in 6 inch. Later on, we got variants of Batman and Superman, which were fine, I guess, but the one I really liked the most was Cyborg from Teen Titans. Later on, we also got The Flash, which was based on the Superman animated show. Uh, and it looked look kind of different to be honest, but it still looked good with the rest of the uh, other figures. And if you're wondering why I'm saying that he looked different, it's because Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern were based on the Spawn animated figures that McFarlane has made uh, on his early years. And to be honest, I have no idea why he did that. They should have been their own thing, they should have been with a different scope. Or they could have done what um, DC Drake was doing, they could have done the exact same thing but 7 inch um, I think that would have been cool and I mean it. they, they should have kept going in my opinion they should have at least finished uh, Justice League or uh, the Teen Titans because now poor Cyborg is all by himself because that's the only figure that I believe people really liked and it, yeah, don't get me wrong it's a really great figure but I mean I, I wish they could have done more with the animated line for DC Multiverse because now McFarlane is mostly owner of every uh, toy thing from DC. They're now owners of the DC Direct. So they make statues and make all that. Page punchers, the Batman animated series. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if they probably didn't go the route that they, that they went to with the Spawn. Trying to copy the Spawn animated figure and doing their own thing. Or copy, like I said, DC Direct. They would have probably um, done much better. People would have probably liked it more, probably would have bought, bought more of these animated figures. The most recent animated figure we have gotten from McFarlane was from the Batman 30th anniversary of the Batman animated series, which they re-released the same figure. I honestly thought they would have learned by now with all the criticism they were getting when, with the animated figures. Uh, they just re-released re re them with a different cape and some other accessories. And the highlight of that figure was, well, it depended on which one you got. There was one with the signed version, which that one goes for a lot because it's from the creator Paul Dini of the Batman Animated Series. And the other one was just the normal figure, but if either way, if you got one of those two, you would get the base, which for me, in my opinion, was the highlight of that figure. But what do you guys think was the downfall of the animated figures the, cause, because of the way they were sculpted? Or was it because just people were not interested in buying the uh, animated figures? So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.